Welcome to Don't Breathe, which starts with a blonde beep getting dragged to an empty Detroit neighborhood. And because of that same beep with two idiots robbing a house, the one that looks like Woody from Toy Story can turn off the alarm because his father works in the company that makes this alarm system and he stole the key to turn it off from behind his dad's back to rob these places. And this guy, who is their leader, and if I were Santa Sins, I'd call him an asshole for eating an apple, but no, I'm calling him an asshole for having an asshole haircut and peeing all over the place they're robbing. They steal a bunch of valuable stuff, but no cash because there's a stupid law that says if you steal cash, it's a worse crime than if you steal just stuff. Then they break a window while they leave, so the alarm gets triggered, presumably not to make anyone suspicious of the shitty ass alarm system that someone exploited a vulnerability in it so no one suspects what he's dad and shit like that but I have a problem with this because depending on how fast the police's response time is if they get there really quick they can find that someone peed on the fucking place which means they had the time to you know warm up to pee you know every guy and gal knows you gotta fucking prime the pump before you release the toxins you know what I'm saying basically they had a shit ton of time to pee and steal all that crap which is time they would not have if they broke the glass and then got in and stole that stuff which would lead any police person detective guy to think that they were able to turn the security system off somehow but that's a long shot theory so whatever on the ride back, Rocky reveals that after making enough money from all the houses they're stealing, she's gonna try and move to California with her little sister that she's taking care of because her mom is super duper shitty and abusive. Really? California? There are 49 other states and you have to choose the one that is a real contender for the one with the highest concentration of woke fake retards that live on a diet of protein shakes, avocados, Starbucks, and plastic surgery. Not to mention the high cost of living, pollution, all that other crap. Did you really think this through, Rocky? Doesn't matter. Woody puts back the key to the security system in his dad's desk, while shitty haircut dude gets a tip that an old army veteran dude is sitting on over $300,000 in cash because this one rich bitch ran over his only daughter and killed her and he won this money in a settlement in court a few years ago and this illiterate fuck believes that the money's in the house and the house is in a neighborhood that is completely deserted and in like a ghost town part of town so he thinks it's gonna be an easy job but what he doesn't want to do it because he doesn't want to do cash because it's like a worse crime if you do cash rocket really wants to do it because that's her big ticket out of here going to california and shit so she sends him a text begging him to do it so he looks into it and also like thinks about her a bit because he has a question on her but she belongs to the shit cut if you can tell already so while he ponders over this decision and daydreams over rocky she's dealing with her nazi loving awful mother and taking care of her little sister that really wants to go to the beach and surf but she he says, There's no surf in Michigan. Yes, there is. You're surrounded almost on all sides by water. And you got little baby waves that are perfect for learning how to surf. Stop lying to the child, woman. Whatever. Woody shoots her a text telling her that he's down to clown and do this job. So Shitty Haircut sets up a camera in front of the old dude's house to scope it out for a few days, then goes to pick it up and goes back to his car, shows them the footage, and tells Cocky and Woody that the dude hasn't left the house in five days, so he wants to go in while he sleeps to introduce some sleeping gas to the guy's lungs to keep him asleep so they can roam around the house freely and look for the money. Then suddenly a dog barks and slobbers all over the car. And who else calls a dog back but the old guy that they want to rob, who turns out to be blind, which they think makes their job much easier so shitty haircut dude says we do this tonight Let's get the dog slobber out of the way first, okay? Because it was inconsistent between shots, and that's really annoying. Now on to the important part. You just saw that he goes out to walk his dog, which means he leaves his house at least for like a few minutes. Just wait till he eventually does that again and go in there to at least scope out the place from the inside a little bit to have more information. Why are you rushing this? There is no time constraint here, you fucking dumb c <coughs> Whatever. Later on, they approach the house at 2 a.m. hoping the old guy's asleep. Throw his dog some sleeping pills hidden in some meat to knock him out, then try the front door, but the paranoid f has three extra locks on there, and Woody only has the one key for that one lock. So they jump over the fence to try the side door, careful not to wake up the sleeping dog, and the side door is also no good does not open too well locked and shit so shit cut and tries to open the basement door from the outside by yanking on it violently and loudly like a dumbass taco retard he is they stop him and rocky sees a skinny window that is not barred up and volunteers to go through it so what it gives her a remote to turn off the security system all she has to do is point it in his direction and be close enough to click and she has 30 seconds from the time she trips the alarm to turn it off wait a minute 30 seconds but the one in the beginning of the movie had a countdown for starting from 20. 20. 19. Is that a different model or something? Does that even matter? Is there an option to customize the countdown timer's length? Whatever, who cares? Mercy gets boosted up there as Mercy's do. She breaks the window, unlocks the thing, and gets inside. Somehow that does not make enough noise to wake him up. Doesn't matter. As soon as she opens the window, that trips the alarm, and she starts sneaking in there as quietly as she can, furiously clicking away at any place where she thinks the thing is or where the noise is coming from. She eventually turns it off. By the way, the time from when she trips the alarm to when she turns it off is exactly 42 seconds, which means the alarm should have went off and the cops should have been on their way. But movie timers are always fucked like that, so whatever. She opens the side door for them and tells them to take the shoes off before they come in to presume be more quiet sneaky and ninja then the movie starts doing something really stupid and annoying which is zooming on shit that is obviously going to be of importance later thanks movie yeah we get it. wow look a hammer that is definitely going to be used as a weapon by someone with how much is getting zoomed into you can zoom out now and move on to other shit we get it movie thank you thank you shit cut goes upstairs to the guy's bedroom where he's sleeping to release the vape cloud of sleepiness and while he makes his concoction of z's dude wakes up to turn off the tv next to him which spooks out ombre but you know he blinds so oh, he can't see him so it's all good blind guy goes back to bed and he releases the sleepy vape cloud bomb then he goes back down to them 
them and start speaking loudly. The uber confident that his little bottle of smoke is doing his job. They find the door to the basement or the cellar with a big fat f***ing lock on it and figure that the money has to be down there somewhere. So Shitface tries to pry the door open but fails because a smooth brain jackass is prying on the door frame itself and not the lock. Trying to pry the lock off the door. That's like trying to dig a hole by slapping the earth. Are you fucking stupid? Let me answer that question. Yes, he is. Because the next thing he pulls out is a gun as a better tool to open the door when the only tool here is him. What do you think this is a bad idea but it's too late because a dumb c*** shoots the lock through a bottle as a makeshift silencer which isn't as effective as you think it would be. You at least have to have some cotton balls or some wool inside to have some semblance of a suppression effect which still is not that much. Don't ask me how I know that. Anyway, Woody nopes out, puts his shoes on and leaves and right after that the blind guy comes down. Either he woke up because the sleeping gas didn't work, maybe went out to pee, maybe the loud ass fucking shot woke him up. I don't fucking know. Just a thought. Anyway, he's here now. He heard the noises and he's asking who's there. The idiot starts another sequence of bad actions. First of which is that he speaks. He tells the guy to stay right there. I know what's in there and I came for it. Shoots another warning shot next to the blind guy to stop him from coming any closer without backing up himself anywhere or running away at all. He's threatened the old dude not to come closer but the blind rip dude has ironclad testicles keeps approaching and finally gets close enough to disarm him and point the gun at Shithead's head. Ask him if there's anyone else here in the house with him and he tells him that there is no one else. So blind guy shoots him and shit cut fucking squirms around a little bit then falls on the floor dead. How do you squirm around for a bit? I saw the bullet exit his fucking head. It came in through his neck exited his head. I know some people survive certain headshots at certain angles but it is my understanding that if the shot is fatal you can't do anything. No movement at all. In fact the only thing you can do is something called the flop. Or am I wrong here? Doesn't matter. Rocky very quietly goes to hide in the closet and Woody hears these gunshots, comes back in and almost runs into the blind guy who's locking up the side door and boarding up the bathroom window that he uses other senses to deduce that it got broken into. While the teens text each other and communicate, blind guy somehow does not hear the vibrating phones, then goes into the closet to check a safe in a secret hole in the wall where all his settlement money is and Rocky gets to see that. She also gets to see the code he used for the opening the safe. He then closes it up and leaves. Woody gets to Rocky in the closet. He wants to go but she chances it and tells him to wait a second. Goes to open the safe and make some noise and take all the money and put it in her bag. After that they decide that the best course of action to get out the house is through the storm cellar door because only bolt is shut from the inside and will be the easiest way to get out. So they go to the cellar or basement door and as soon as they get there the blind guy opens the door. They immediately freeze and get out of his way. He's going to like collect the body of the Latino boy and drag him away but instead of standing completely still they keep moving backwards and eventually Woody hits a part of the floor that is very squeaky and makes a noise and that puts blind guy on super high alert momentarily. I understand that they want to get out this place ASAP but both of them display the ability to stand super still and the presence of mind to move only as much as they need to when faced by the blind guy and being in his way. So why move now? Why the fuck are you doing this? You dumbass idiot. Whatever, I'll let it pass. Blind guy shoots at the guy's buzzing phone and brushes off the squeak as whatever moment. The house is old and squeaky, maybe I did it, whatever, let me just move his body out of here. I'm saying? He drags that guy into this workshop part of his house and uh, as soon as he gets far enough, they go for the door and go into the weird ass basement. Climb down the ladder, use their phones as flashlights, but Woody runs out of battery. Then they get jump scared by a basement sex slave that is bound up in a contraption that has her like confined to this padded area corner of the basement and a long ass rope that is connected to a bell inside the house that rings whenever she moves. She shows them newspaper clippings and tries to communicate to them and they find out that she is the rich bitch that ran over the guy's kid so he kidnapped her for some more quote unquote justice in his basement. Meanwhile dude was upstairs being Bob the Builder making shit to fix the basement lock I guess. When he sniffs out some stinky dinky shit and his shithead shoe he smells it and it smells like a skunk's asshole but he notices a second pair of shoes that smells like flowers and daffodils because it's literally impossible for women to smell bad. He figures there's more than one person here and the dude lied so he goes to check on his money and finds out that it's gone. Then he hears the bell ring because the basement sex slave moved and you'll find out soon enough how accurate that statement is. Anyway he starts going down there thinking that the people that robbed him are trying to escape from the basement and maybe possibly bring it to that bitch. While the two of them are wasting a shit ton of time debating on whether or not they should free her and take her with them. And they open a safe with the same code that the safe up top had, find some keys, unlock her and take her with them, moving out of the fucking place while they hear the guy coming for them. They get to the storm cellar door and find out that it's not just bolted shut but also padlocked shut but they have the keys so that's no problem. They start opening it. Open says something the guy's fucking outside one step ahead of them, pointing a gun at Woody. He shoots his ear because he's blind, he misses but if you think about it, it's a pretty accurate shot for a situation. And takes a few other shots at the screaming, squirming females and actually shoots the tied up bound up hoe in the face and she's still able to look around for a few seconds before falling down and dying. Someone please tell me why people who get headshot on this movie don't immediately ragdoll and fall on the floor. Is getting shot in the cheek less instantly fatal? Whatever. They run away and hide behind the thing and while the dude pushes really carefully and feels a dead body at his feet, feels for it and finds out that it's his dungeon dick toy. Discovers that he accidentally killed her and goes no, no, no. He's pretty bummed about it so he turns back and locks the hatch in a way that it can be opened again by jamming a little rod in there. Well Woody figures out that the keys in his hand will also unlock the front door so they make a run for it but Olga hears that and shuts off the lights to even out the playing field a bit. Blind people must save a shit ton of money on electricity bills, right? Irrelevant. He keeps shooting at any noise they make so they get lost and separated inside the cellar. He however is traversing the place with no problem because he knows it by heart and eventually gets a hold of Woody, points a gun at his head but he runs out of ammo so he tries to choke him out through a shelving unit but Woody pushes it onto him and gets loose of his grip then finds Rocky and runs to the light of the like door out to the inside of the house and shit. They get outside and then they find that old guy has woken up his dog and let him into the house to employ the help of the animal kingdom and the dog chases them upstairs before they get the chance to open the front door. They barricade themselves 
inside the daughter's room, I believe. And they're like... We're trapped in here. Bro, that one looks like it's just boarded up with plywood. You know how easy it is to bust even through two by fours, let alone plywood? Pull your fucking foot through that window, you fucking bitch. Whatever. Woody wants to press the panic button on his remote to call the cops because, uh, yeah, they sold the money, but the guy killed a few people, so murder, Trump's robbery, and the cops should be on their side. Rocky doesn't want to do that, however, because she thinks he'll lose the money that way. Then Hulk blind guy who went to his bedroom and got his own revolver from underneath his bed is now shooting at the door, trying to open it from the outside, so Woody braces the door shut while Rocky goes to climb through a vent in the room, trying to get out of it. But old man too strong and overpowers Woody, opening the door letting the dog in and remember what i said about that one window well i rest my case just like he's resting on this glass roof bit of the house passed out wakes up with the blind guy trying to shoot him from above but again misses and shatters the glass letting him drop into the house so he goes downstairs to find him and kill him the dude's trying to be as quiet as possible but the noises he's making while breathing gives away his position and would you like to hazard a guess as to which one of these tools he was gonna use to defend himself with he uses the super obvious movie hammer to defend himself they get into a little fight blind buff man is too op and overpowers him and beats him up a little bit until he passes out then grabs some garden shears and stabs him with them meanwhile his dog has jumped up into the vent after rocky and and she sees that so she voluntarily drops down a big ass shaft in the vents head first landing directly onto her fucking head and somehow she does not break her neck crack her fucking skull open and die in this maneuver instead she passes out and wakes up with some light injuries keeps moving through the vent system and gets to a vent that leads to the outside of the house makes her way over there while making all the female video game noises don't pretend like you don't know what i'm talking about i know all the things you made lara croft do turns herself around and starts kicking at the fucking vent opening it up but the blind kid heard all the oohs and the ahs and the kicks and grabs her through the vent underneath her pulls her back into the house and chokes her unconscious puts her in the paddock corner of the cellar bound up just like the old bitch she is now his new sex slave gimp dungeon bitch and when she wakes up this movie takes a really fucked up turn and he explains to her that Cindy the woman that ran over his child and he shot by accident should have gone to jail but she didn't because rich bitches don't go to jail so he thought that it's only fair since she took away his kid that she would give him another kid so he kidnapped her and inseminated her forcibly so she could get pregnant and give him another baby and when she died or he shot her by accident she was pregnant with his child hence when she died his baby died and he blames those fatalities on them breaking in then he dumps a shit ton of dirty oil I think on Cindy and shoves her into the floor and I don't know if I can show this next part on YouTube or Patreon for that matter which is where I upload on such content if you didn't know that quick self plug but a wise man once said fuck it we ball blind dude whips out a jar of his own jizz and starts warming it up on the stove then goes you killed my baby when you came into my house but you're young and you'll breed well what the f man he lifts her up in his demented BDSM contraption and cuts an axis hole to her coochie through her pants sucks up some of his spunk in a turkey baster and goes I'm not a racist that being said I'm about to with a turkey baster that ladies and gentlemen is called cognitive dissonance or is it not? I don't know. Dude gets stopped from doing that by Woody with the super obvious movie hammer. See, he did not die because blind Kate is blind Kate. And when he stabbed him with the garden shears, he actually stabbed the dead shitty haircut guy. Instead of a pass at Woody who woke up later on, grabbed the hammer and trapped the dog in the workshop place, fiddled around with the front door a bit, then got down there to rescue Rocky by beating the shit out of that dude, untying slash uncuffing her. They cuff him up to their like restraint device. She has her way beating up the blind rapist Kate a little bit too, then makes him eat his own jizz. Friendly and he tells them to take the money and leave so that they don't call the cops on him and that's what they do they leave with the dough and when they get to the front door that is not for some reason left wide open for an easy and fast escape because Woody's brain is fucking tomato soup with swirling trash sauce added to it what the fuck was the point of fiddling around with the door then you're gonna find out which key pertains to which lock and then not open those locks to keep the door open you fucking moron whatever they waste just enough time opening that door for the guy to get free from the contraption that he builds and knows how to get out of to get his gun and shoot Woody dead dumbass dies Rocky panics and runs out the house gets to a point in the road and stops to taunt him the hell are you doing you dumb hoe in this scenario keep fucking running no matter what you can taunt him while you run if you want plus there's still a dog that could yeah there there's a dog there you go yeah you run dumbass why are people in horror movies so fucking dense all the time she runs away from the dog hops over a fence and gets to bendejo's car but the dog catches up and knocks the bag full of money off her back while she gets into the car and the dog slobbers all over the car with inconsistent saliva marks and slobber marks again goes over to the other side of the car where the windows roll down and tries to jump through there she takes a fucking eternity to roll it up she freaks out a bit because there are no keys in the car and then puts her thinking hat on falls down the rear seats and axes the trunk finds a rope in there so she opens the trunk and attaches the rope to like the hook in the trunk and waits for the dog to jump inside pulls the trunk shut and closes the back seats to trap the dog in there then takes a breath instead of immediately jumping out of the car which gives the dog the time to violently push past the back seat and attack her inside while she tries to hold the seat shut it would have taken you less than two seconds to get out of that car two seconds you used to take a breath you did not need you dumb asshole whatever she struggles with a dog that should have mauled her in this situation but she somehow gets to hook the rope on 
his collar and keep him far enough away from her for her to get out of the car just as fast as I said she could have done. She takes the bag of money, gets up, but it's too late because the dude shows up to beat her up and drag her back to the house. Throws her down next to Woody's lifeless corpse. So she takes the security system remote out of his hand and sounds the alarm to call the cops. The noise alarm makes fucks with the guy's awareness and shit. So she's able to beat the hell out of him using a crowbar. Knocks him down the cellar. His gun accidentally fires into his side. Then she takes the money and just stands there for a few seconds and only moves when she hears the police sirens approaching. Bitch, can you stop with the dramatic pauses and get a move on without anybody lighting a fire under your ass, you stupid c**t? Whatever. She runs away before the cops get there, then takes her little sister to hop on a train to California. And while at the station, she sees news coverage of what happened on, well, the news. The guy's still alive somehow and he tells the authorities that there were only two intruders and they took nothing and he was able to fend them off to discourage her from coming back and telling the authorities that he actually kidnapped and raped the bitch. That's it. This movie gets seven ladybugs out of two actual human ladies.